In this video, we shall see the index notation. So it is very important in continuum mechanics. So we need to represent the vector and tensor quantities to the basis Cartesian coordinate system. So it is uh, very helpful in mathematical operations. In order to present coordinate expressions relative to right-handed or orthonormal system, so right hand uh, right hand rule is nothing but when you use three fingers of your right hand. So uh, if you put them mutually perpendicular so one is representing x one is represented y uh, representing y and another represents z axis so that is right hand orthogonal uh, or orthonormal system so we can introduce a fixed set of base vectors like e1 e2 and e3 so sometimes we can also represent them as i j k so they are called as a basis vector uh, with following properties so, uh, so this is dot products, right? Unit vectors having dot products e1 dot e2, e2, e1 dot e3, e2 dot e3. So how they will be? So all will be zero. So this is how they are. So e1 dot e2 is nothing but whenever you see dot, so that is nothing but. So if you multiply those um, unit vectors with cosine of the angle between those mentioned vectors. So when they are orthonormal, so per mutually perpendicular to each other, the angle between them is 90 degrees, cos 90 is 0. So E1 dot E3, the same. So E1 and E3 are perpendicular. E2, E3, E2, uh, E3, E2 are perpendicular. E2, E1 are perpendicular. So all similarly, if you take E1 and E1 dot E3, the angle is again 90 degrees, 0. E2 dot E3 will also be 0. So second one it says uh, e1 dot e1 is equal to e2 dot e, uh, e2 is, is equal to e3 dot e3 is equal to 1. This is not 0. This is 1. So that is uh, e1 dot e2. So when you simply save this. Um, just a minute please. So when you save this. So when it is in same direction e1 dot e1. Angle between the unit vector e1 and unit vector e1. So that is nothing but angle 0, right? Cos 0 is 1. And E1 into E1, so if you multiply both of them, that is also 1 because these both are unit vectors. The magnitude is 1 for both. So E1 magnitude will be 1. This magnitude will also be 1. 1 into 1 into 1. Cos 0 is 1. So finally, we will get 1. Similarly, E2 dot E2. So that is also uh, angle between E2 and E2, the same vector, right? So that is 0. 1 and we will get again e3 dot e3 will also be 1. So these are the uh, properties you need to remember. We will come to index notation. Uh, so any vector u in three dimensional Euclidean space is represented by a linear combination of the basis vectors. So that is nothing but u is a vector. So that is equal to u1 e1 plus u2 e2 plus u3 e3. So this is a vector in this direction u1. U3, uh, U3 direction. So U, E3 is a unit vector and this is the actual length of the vector U3. Right. So these are real numbers. U3, U1, U2, U3 are the real numbers. So how much is the magnitude is multiplied by this E3. For example, U, E3 is 1. Uh, not for example. E1, E2, E3 will also be 1 single. For example, this is U3 that is having 3 units of magnitude. So then you have to substitute here 3 into E1. 3 E1 like that. So in E3 direction you, have, you can map that is 3. In U2 direction, sorry e, uh, E2 direction we have U2 in this way. E2 direction and U1 direction this is. So E1 uh, we have in this way. U1 E1 plus U2 E2 plus U3 E3. So if you add all the vectors you will get the resultant vector U. So vector u with its Cartesian components u1, u2, u3. So you are representing with, uh, with the basis, right? e1, e2, e3 are the basis vectors. So if you see the components of e1, e2, e3, so in direction of e1, the components are 1, comma 0, comma 0. So it is having only uh, first coordinate system. So it is 0, 1, 0, 0, e2. If you see the second coordinate will be active, that is 0, 1, 0 e3 so the third coordinate will be active third coordinate will be 1 so other two remain components will be 0 0 0 1 now using index notation subscript okay we can write this equation this equation as sigma uh, u is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 2 3 so u1 u2 u3 we have right so 1 2 3 ui 
E i. So here i is equal to uh, ranging from 1 to 3. So if we leave out the summation symbol, so we can, if we just remove the summation symbol, what we get here? It is simply u i e i. So that will be, uh, we are just removing the summation uh, rule. So that is nothing but uh, Einstein's summation convention. So he says, so if you just remove the summation symbol and one in index is repeating twice, then it is obvious that it is, um, th there is a sum, there is sum between that. That is called as a summation convention. Let us see that in detail manner. So this summation convention says that whatever an index is repeated only once in the same term. So then the summation over this range of index is implied unless otherwise indicated. So we consider three dimensional Euclidean space characterized by Latin indices small i, j, k running over 1, 2, 3. So we denote the basis vector by E i. So i uh, belongs to 1, 2, 3 is a set. So the braces here, so that will indicate a fixed set of basis vector and this is a tensor element. These braces will indicate uh, the fixed set of basis vectors and inside you can see this uh, symbol that is that can be any tensor element. Uh, another one we have to speak about is dummy index. So this is the index which is repeated in the same term is called as a dummy index. Uh, so for example, so, uh, see here. Uh, so in this you can see this uh, you can see u i e i so that is being repeated two times in a single term twice right so that can be called as a dummy index a range convention if we see uh, let us consider a system of algebraic equations like this a11 x1 a12 x2 a13 x3 uh, plus up to so on plus a1 n x n so uh, that is equal to b1 so second one a21 x1 a22 x2 plus a23 x3 and so on up to plus a2 n x n is equal to b2 uh, and this 1 2 will continue up to n so a n1 x1 plus a n2 x2 plus a n3 x3 and up to so on plus a n n x n so that is equal to b n so now we can uh, write in a compact form uh, as a i1 x1 plus a i2 x2 plus a i3 x3 and here a will uh, go from 1, 2, 3 up to so on n. So here b i. So wherever it is there. So first index that I am taking it as i. And even more in the compacted form we can write it as a i1 x1. Uh, so because uh, without mentioning that we can write the same. So that, that can be a more compact form. We are, we are writing only this without considering this, without mentioning this. This is called as a range convention, this one. So as we have taken the system of equations in a range, uh, taking an index, so that is ranging from one to the mentioned limit, so that is called as a range convention. So here the subscript i is called as a free index or free subscript. Uh, so it is free to take a values from uh, its range. So i can range from one to n. We can also write the equation replacing i with j. So that is also acceptable. a j1 k x1, a j1 x1, a j2 x2, a j3 x3 and so on up to a j n x n is equal to b j. So that is also acceptable. So I have just replaced i with j. So otherwise let us take our equation uh, a i1 x1 plus a i2 x2 plus a i3 x3 and so on up to a i n x n uh, that is equal to b i. Now we can write even in more compact uh, form as uh, summation j is equal to 1 to n it is another index a i j x j so it is being repeated uh, so we can call it as a dummy index now, so we can simplify it further agreeing to drop the summation sign so according to Einstein convention so we can just remove off this summation convention and we can write this so that is uh, I'm uh, that is known as Einstein uh, summation convention we are just removing the summation sign so whenever there is a repeated index, like here j is being repeated, right? A, i, j, x, j. So whenever index is being repeated, that is an indication that it is summing up. It is sum of uh, the different terms. The subscript j is called as a dummy subscript or repeated index or dummy index as it repeats itself in symbol group. 
So note that a i k x k is equal to b i uh, is identical and valid. So it, it can be written in the same way. So that is acceptable and valid. Same uh, similar type. No subscript is allowed to appear more than twice in any symbol group. So for example, a i i x i is equal to b i. It is not valid. So it can not be repeated in the same term twice. Uh, uh, for same symbol group twice here. So uh, these are the important note about this indicial notation. Uh, the number of indices is called as a rank of tensor. How many indices are there? So that accordingly we will call it as a uh, rank of a tensor. We will relate it to the rank of tensor. Uh, the range of an index is determined by dimensionality in space. So for example here M you can see the, there is no index. So M we can represent directly that is a scalar. It is having no direction, 0th order tensor, uh, as we have discussed in a previous video. Uh, velocity is vi, so it is having one direction. It is represented by one index, so one direction. So v is a magnitude, i is a direction. So that is called as a vector. It is first order tensor. And you can see this uh, stress sigma ij. So you have one magnitude sigma and two directions ij. So that is called as a tensor. It is a second order tensor. So whenever we call it the tensor, so generally we are uh, referring to as second order tensor. So index which is appeared once that is called as a free index. So for example, in this in this valid uh, expression, we can say J is a dummy index which is repeating, repeating dummy index. Okay, so uh, here uh, free index. So free index is another one. It, it appears only once. A i j x j. So that appears once that is called as a free index. So uh, in the expression I have shown you, i is the free index here, j is a dummy index. And index appear twice that is called as a dummy index. So same index should not appear more than twice. We shall see some examples. A, i, b, i. In order to expand it, so that is uh, taking summation i is equal to 1, 2, 3. A, i, b, i. So that is nothing but uh, a1b1 plus a2b2 plus a3b3. So second one if you see a i k n k. So i is here uh, free index, k is a repeated index. So we can write into the system of equations like this. a1k nk, uh, a11n1, sigma, sorry, sigma a11n1, sigma 12 n2, sigma 13 n3 like this. Write initial notation for this a11 plus a22 plus a33. It is very simple to write. So just whatever uh, we have uh, seen previously. So a11 plus a22 plus a33. So a i i simply. Okay. So this is a1 square, a2 square, a3 square. So if we take the summation of all these, so we can we don't take generally uh, powers in initial notation. We just we have to write it as a1 a1 plus a2 a2. Plus a3 a3 so that will be equal to ai ai so that is a valid so that is about initial notation hope you got a little thanks for your time